The CEO of TikTok says China does not own or influence TikTok, and he might have a case. Now stick with me because I want to hear your opinions in the comments. You see, Congress and a lot of Americans are quite worried about TikTok and security issues. The biggest concern is that, look, the CCP, China, runs and owns and influences TikTok, thus they are integrating themselves into American culture. But we have an issue, and I want to be fair here, because the CEO is saying this is not true. But you also have a lot of Americans who are being super loud and upfront. They are saying our government is being very hypocritical here. You are not being critical of Google. You are not being critical of Meta. And they are doing the same thing as TikTok. And I think it's very important to realize that we have these echo chambers of arguments. And we also need to realize there are 150 million American users who use TikTok. So obviously this is a really successful app. So there must be some issues here. It almost doesn't make sense. Why get rid of this app if so many Americans love it? But again, from the other side, the other echo chamber, well, it's owned by China. So let's start with the big question. Does China own TikTok? Well, it's actually not so black and white, and please stick with me. A really big misconception is that there is an American version of TikTok, and then there is a Chinese version of TikTok. The application we all use is TikTok, and TikTok is not legal or allowed in China. China has something called Douyin, and the biggest argument has always been, well, the app in America is dumbing our children, and the app in China is making them all more successful. Now, the true scary difference between Douyin and TikTok is that Douyin actually has a way more powerful algorithm when you look into what they are allowing as far as technology. They have face recognition, so you actually go on the application and they know who you are. And in case you weren't aware, this is actually pretty well known that China uses face recognition, and it's pretty common in that country. Now, I know some of you are saying, well, look, it's not called TikTok, but it's sort of the same thing. But it really is not the same thing when you break it down, especially from a technological level. Like, Douyin, for sure, would not be allowed in the United States. But one thing that does bind Douyin and TikTok together is the parent company called ByteDance. Now, ByteDance is a Chinese technological firm that owns Douyin and TikTok. It is the parent company. So here's where the main argument falls for Congress and Americans who want to get rid of TikTok. ByteDance is linked to the Chinese government, thus China must own TikTok. Now, I want to play a clip from the congressional hearing of how China technically owns TikTok, but they don't, but they sort of do. China's 2017 national intelligence law states very clearly that, quote, any organization or citizen shall support, assist, and cooperate with state intelligence work in accordance with the law and maintain the secrecy of all knowledge of state intelligence work. In other words, ByteDance and also your TikTok employees that live in China, they must cooperate with Chinese intelligence whenever they are called upon. And if they are called upon, they're bound to secrecy. That would include you. So Mr. Chu, if the CCP tells ByteDance to turn over all data that TikTok has collected inside the US, even within Project Texas, do they have to do so according to the Chinese law? Con Congressman, first, I'm, I'm Singaporean. Um, That's fine, yeah. but there are employees of yours and bite dances in China. We, we understand this concern. In my opening statement, we said, we hear these concerns, we didn't try to avoid them or you know, trivialize them. We built something where we take that data and put it out of reach. This is what we did. We put it out of reach. Out of reach, but they own you. No, we put it out of reach by bleep, bite storing dance, them. Bite in, dance owns TikTok. If bite dance is told, and, and the CCP owns bite dance because the CCP, CCP owns everybody in China. And so we, by law, they can make them do whatever they want, and they say that by law, you can't tell anyone about it. So they can make you hand over that data. Is that correct? Data is stored here in American soil by an American well, company you say that. overseen we, by American companies. We thought that, but leaked audio. So we are at crossroads here because technically the CEO of TikTok is not lying and he is telling the truth. China does not directly own and run or influence TikTok. However, ByteDance, the parent company of TikTok, that's a different story and that's the main concern because we know and have evidence that ByteDance, they do have members of their community and members of their organization who do work with the CCP, China. 
And although Douyin, the Chinese version of TikTok, they do have that really powerful algorithm technology and that face recognition technology, although it's not used in American TikTok, ByteDance does have access to all of that information that's being used in Douyin and does have an obligation to feed that information to China. But are we being hypocritical here? Because the CEO of TikTok even said, we use this data for advertisers to enhance the TikTok experience. There's a reason why TikTok outperforms almost every single social media app because of how good they are at the algorithm. And this is the absolute main argument from the CEO of TikTok and many others is that every app besides TikTok does the same exact thing. They do what's called data sharing or selling data. Recently, Facebook, or Meta as it's supposed to be called, they got sued by the European Union for a lot of money for the issue of privacy. And the thing they got sued over was personal ads. Again, these are all businesses trying to fine tune their advertisements to people who will then turn products, buy those ads or buy those products so advertisers buy more ads. Now here's the confusing part that a lot of people don't understand about things like TikTok and Meta. They don't necessarily sell your information because a lot of us, we just click accept and agree and what we don't realize is that we are giving away our information for free. So what happens is advertisers or people who wanna place ads on Facebook, they wanna make sure they get a turn on profit or an ROI, return on investment. And the way they do that is by understanding what their algorithm is. So Facebook will show them all of the information that I gave Facebook. I did it willingly. Now, a lot of people say, well, we're kind of getting scammed because these agreements are hard to understand. But nonetheless, we gave away that information for free. And that is the main argument. We gave away our information for free. TikTok does it. Instagram does it. Everyone does it. And they are not selling the data. They're just showing the data and making money because, again, we gave it away. So is there an answer, is there a way to fix TikTok to get away from China and to be on US soil? Well, TikTok is currently trying to do this. During the congressional hearing, they had something called Project Texas. And pretty much what this will allow is for data centers to be stored in Texas, away from China, away from anybody who's going to spy on our data through TikTok. And the CEO of TikTok knows that they need to get away from China. They keep saying they're trying to get away from China. That's why they want to do what's called Project Texas. Now, there was the obvious pushback that I know a lot of you are saying. What difference does it make if you have a physical location in Texas? ByteDance still owns you. They are the ones signing the checks. They are the ones owned by China. Who's to say they can't just go to the facility or make a quick phone call and say, we need some data? What I find really interesting about all of this is that TikTok is just quite literally trying to fix their image. They're trying to get away from China, but no matter what, unless they somehow sell the rights away from ByteDance, I don't think TikTok can ever legally get away from China. And that seems to be what the tone or solution is from the American government. I mean, you even have President Biden talking about TikTok trying to sell their stock or just to recreate another TikTok. You have Congress who just keep pushing. Are you sure you're not connected to China? Because it looks like you are. But if you get away from China, we have no issues with you. Check one, two. So let me know what you guys think down below. I truly think TikTok will not be around for a while unless they can get away from ByteDance or unless there is such an agreement where the United States can make more money than they already are from TikTok. Now, on one side of the coin, I come from a military perspective. I was a soldier. I do think there is a security concern. But if soldiers are, even if soldiers use Tinder on the battlefield, as Russia found out, you can find your location and you can access your data. So I, I think on one side, we are being rather hypocritical to TikTok, but it's just that one thing. They are connected to China. And I do think that's an issue. I have no issue with the Chinese people, but I do think the Chinese government has proven time and time again, they are after the American people and they are after our data. But one thing is for sure, 
How interesting and how weird was it to see members of government actually coming together? I thought that was rather interesting. And many people say, well, they're only doing it to line their pockets with money. And many people say, well, they're doing it for the interest of the people. I also want to hear your comments and opinions on that. I can't remember the last time they all came together on an issue. I thought that was pretty cool. I just wanted to throw that in the video.